to the Texans training camp and sports. Today was the first time they put on the pads. And in this Houston heat, it's important to try to stay cool. And the Texans might just have access to the coolest spot in the city. Oh, yes. With more on that and other nuggets leading up to the camp, of course, let's check in with ABC 13's Adam Winkler in the newsroom. Myra Chauncey, Nico Collins, the second year Texans standout, is six foot four. He's the tallest receiver on the roster, as you might expect. Nico's got a basketball background. But prior to practice each day, the Texans receivers, they warm up with another ball, a tennis ball. The reason behind that is where we begin our one-on-one -on -one chat with Nico. So we use those to warm up the eyes. You know, we practice early, you know, so you roll out of bed, you straight to the practice field, you know. So tennis ball is a great, great drill, you know, to make you concentrate. And the ball a little, you know, so it's, I feel like it's a great drill for us, you know, to get the eyes ready, you know, because when the ball comes, you know, you got you to gotta be ready to adjust to it. You know, you don't want to sneak up on you, and then you still got sleepy eyes. You can't really see your eyes blurry. What time does the alarm go off during training camp? Woo! 555. Okay. Yeah, man. Try to be out the house no later than 610. Tell me about this white shed. We got tinted windows. We got dudes going in and out. Uh -huh. It's a little bit of a secret situation. Tell me what happens in there if you oh, can. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's like a freezer. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, in Houston, you know, it's, the heat is real. You know, it's a great, you know, little freezer. We call it. You go in there, it's cool off. You go in there, it's, it's night and day. You go in there, sit down for a minute, it feels so nice. So it's like a reverse sauna. Yeah, it really is. Okay. <laughs> it really is, you know, because feel this heat right now, the hum humidity is it's real, you know, so uh, that's a great, you know, little freezer. I call it the freezer, All the right. cold freezer, you know, it's a great opportunity for everybody going to just cool down a little bit. Let me see your hands. Do you, do you, I mean, do you, have, do you have giant hands? Like, would you consider yourself having pretty big hands? Uh, pretty much, what, 3X, 4X? Is, is, that, is that the best asset uh, for a guy like you, like size, hand size? What, like, what do you, you think is your best weapon? Uh, size, size, hands, you know, um, mismatch for the corners, you know, a lot of corners, not as tall, but I feel like having a background of basketball, you know, go up and get a rebound, that's in my head, you know, high point, you know, so um, I feel like having a basketball background, you know, kind of helps on the field a lot, you know, because at the end of the day, the ball in the air, go get it. Now, Chauncey, Myra, I know you guys have access to the coolest spots in Houston. You get your name on any guest list. I dropped your name and they still wouldn't let me into the freezer out there, so it's a lost cause. We're trying. We're, you can't see this, Adam, but we're trying to uh, compare our hands. A quick question for you. Did you try the freezer? And also, I know you have a suit on now, but you had a shirt on out there. How do you keep cool out there in the hot sun covering these uh, sports events and also the camp? They don't let me in the freezer uh, because I'm a member of the media, so I'm not nearly as important uh, as those guys. So, yeah, it's hot out there. It, dare I say, it could be hotter. It's not awful, but yeah. it's nice of the Texans. They give us water and they give us Gatorade, but... They don't let us into the freezer. I guess you have to be a professional athlete or something. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, man. Mm. We're going right. to have to try <laughs> next time. Thanks a lot, Adam. <laughs>